Celebrate good times. Come on. Dun, 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 dun. Celebrate good times. Come on. Dun, 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 dun. There's nothing. Salsa. That means celebration. That's <laughs> <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. <laughs> so, Corbin, I'm I did not know where that was going. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what it translates to? Yeah, celebration. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, salsa. Yeah, celebration. That's, yeah, that's yeah. Why? Remember it. That's the title what? comes up at a certain. We're no, no no spoilers yet. Yeah, yeah, remember, yeah, yeah. And it comes up at a particular time. Yeah, we'll we'll talk. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh yeah. Anyways. <laughs> You saw the title. You know what we're doing. Yeah. Today we're doing a movie review. Subscribe. Uh, like Hit it. Button. Choose. Is Hit falling. us on Twitter, Twitter and Instagram. Uh, but we're doing a movie review, everybody. And it's of the new film that just came out on Amazon. Jalsa. Yeah. 2022 film. Uh, directed. Uh, Suresh Treveni. Suresh Treveni. Written by... Uh, him as well. But... As well. And then some other folks contributed to dialogue and story. It looks like Prajwal Chandra Jashkar, forgive mispronunciation, please. Abbas Dalal, Hussein Dalal. Mm -hmm. And then starring uh, Vicky. Uh, sorry. I mean, sorry. <laughs> he just saw the first yeah, name sorry. on the IMDb. <laughs> I was assumed it was yeah, Vidya, but Vidya. it was Vidya and, and Shafali Shah. Shah are the two main leads in this, mm -hmm. and uh, as well as a uh, other supporting cast. But those are the two that we know. Um, they're not our dose. I wish they were. Um, Not yet. But anyways, this will be, uh, since it just came out, it's on Amazon. Uh, we're going to do a little non-spoiler review and then we'll yep. get into spoils. Yep. Just because, you know, if you haven't seen it yet, I want to give you the option to go watch it. But it's on Amazon. It's about two hours. Um, so if you don't want to hear anything, you can just go watch that, come back. If not, we're going to do a little non-spoiler, and then we'll get into spoils. Rick, your initial thoughts, please. Well, this is our 21st of the year, our 142nd Hindi, and our 228th all-time. A very entertaining well-crafted, consistently captivating story about how good and innocent people are routinely crushed by the powerful and how those in power can easily cover up their crushings at the expense of more innocent people being crushed. There's a moment what we'll refer to in the spoiler section. <laughs> Yet, even in the midst of horrific realities, good people can still choose to do the right thing and still be good people. I'm It, it for me, lived up to the trailer yeah. excitement I had. Yeah, yeah, I enjoyed it as well. It's it's not a perfect film, um, but it's definitely an engaging film. That um, from it, if you watch the trailer and you were engaged in the trailer, that's basically the film. <laughs> in terms it does of, a very solid job of letting you know what you're getting into. Yeah, and yep. it, it, it keeps you entertained. You're gonna get two great performances from Shafali Shah and Vidya. Yep, who shouldn't you, surprise you. you. Kind of knew was gonna happen. Yep, already. Um, and so I think it was a, a really they did a really good, it, and it's it's not like a new story either in terms of like somebody does something. That aspect agreed. That aspect. That aspect. In but there of... is, in the spoiler section we're going to get into, and this doesn't ruin anything. Um, when you watch this, you can watch it and walk away being entertained and see the main story and not realize that there is a very subversive undercurrent oh, yeah. happening at the same time that's quite intelligent and very impressive to me yeah so overall um non-spoilers i think the acting is great yes i think the the writing did a really good job at keeping you engaged in the middle i think um it, it didn't really falter but i think they probably made it could have cut it up a little bit and made it even even more tighter to get to the point a little faster uh, but i, I like the writing i thought all the dialogue was good i thought some of the twists and turns and all the the underlying messaging was really really nice really, really good we'll get into that in spoilers. Uh, yeah and, and casting bay couple of casting choices that I absolutely love. Is that who casted are, it? Yeah, Casting Bay cast it. And uh, they, I saw it in the credits. And, I mean, obviously, with, with, with Vidya and Shafali, the, we knew we were going to get great stuff. But there's three shout-outs that I want to give. First is to the, the man, Shikrant Yadav, that we saw in Kila, who plays More, the, the police officer. Oh, yes. Yep. Also, uh, Kashish Rizwan, who plays Alia, was, I mean, we'll get into this in the spoilers, but I thought what she got with her screen time, and she's, uh, this is, she's just getting started. Is that what it first? Yep, just getting started. Did a, I thought she did a great job. And then, the really cool thing is, 
there's a primary character in this that you'll see. I don't remember if he was in the trailer or not, but um, Vidya's son in this, his yeah. name is... Uh, Ay Ayua. So, Ayua. Yeah, he plays uh, Surya Kasibatlan. Forgive me if I mispronounced your name, but he plays a character in this who's a, a boy with cerebral palsy. Yeah. And the actor does have cerebral palsy, so a beautiful addition of inclusive casting yeah. of a character who... Uh, it. It plays a part in the story, but that's not the primary thing. You didn't have to. This this could have been written without that. Mm -hmm. And I, I love it was a nice addition. I love that they just said, I don't know if they did this, but it seems like they just said, this little guy can act. Let's put him in it, and the character is going to have cerebral palsy. Just I don't happens. think it was. It just happens it, to have it, which I really, love. It's not really integral to the story. Doesn't it have to be there. He no. was just a normal son who happened to have cerebral sure. palsy. Yep. Thought it was a really good a casting job of him as well. <laughs> I think it's funny the way I can be sometimes. Does I, obviously, he has second build. Second, and then all the way down. <laughs> all the way down is Shafali shot. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> IMDb is hilarious. But anyways, I think it's definitely a film that is worth your time uh, in terms of if you're like, I want to watch an entertaining kind of different thriller that might have like a similar storyline that you've seen before, but it's going to keep you engaged the entire time with some great performances from yeah, great your acting. leads and uh, a, a intriguing ending that I think some people might like and other people might not. Yeah, uh, and, and some well. good some good editing choices with the direction. And leave something um, up for conversation as well. Absolutely. So, um, so yeah. We should we spoil? Yeah, yeah, let's go into yeah, spoilers. Let's go into spoilers. If you haven't watched it, go watch it, come back, and uh, there's going to get into spoilers. Yeah, so spoiling time. Mm, yeah, you spoiled little. <laughs> okay, so, uh, yeah, let's get into it. Uh, I thought, let's talk about... Um, the, the, the two leads. Yeah. As we normally start off with. Um, and if you don't know why we do that, it's... We're both actors. That's our favorite that's part. That's our favorite part of that. Of storytelling is watching <laughs> the actors act so and wanting to act with the actors in it. That's usually why we start with acting. Um, but Shafali Shah just continues to show me why she's one of my favorite actors, one of the strongest actors, I think, in India. Agreed. Uh, in general. Uh, she has... There's something behind her eyes. And I, I think that's... It's something that you can't teach. Nope. Obviously, she has a talent there, and I'm sure... I don't know if she's done training as, as well. I'm sure she has... But there's a certain quality about certain actors. There's that quality of something's going on behind without them saying anything. Yes. And she has it. Absolutely and, like, does. Easily. Yes, she does. <laughs> and her character was so complex um, because, once again, we're in spoilers. Like, you don't know what... Because at normal... The, the whole time, you're like, oh, this is grieving mother. Right. Who's from a different cast of the, uh, of, of the person she's working for. Yes. Very submissive most of the time. She does a great job at that relationship. Yep. But you could tell she's like... She has this fierceness behind her, and then towards the end, you're like, "Oh, is she? Yeah, is she really. I, I literally is she really gonna do this. I literally because I didn't see that coming, and when I saw that coming, and she took him in the car, I, I put my hand over my mouth like this, and I went, "She's gonna do this." And I wrote in my notes, "Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned." <laughs> yeah, I thought, "Is she really gonna do this?" Yeah, and it, it was it's really good in the in the writing because one. It's hard to say. You understand why she like if she would have done that, it would have gone through. You you like you wouldn't understand because obviously you should never do that to a child. And obviously, of course not. But you like, I mean, I know why you're doing it. You right. want to teach it's her a lesson. Or something. I'm gonna it's leave revenge. I'm gonna leave your son right. the way you left my 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 child. Which was beautiful. I thought that was great writing and editing. That that was done in the midst of her actually saying mm -hmm. her testimony and what she did as she's doing it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so I, I really enjoyed that part. Um, but yeah, her. And then I, I, I guess we'll just. Well, I got one thing about. I'll let you know. No, no, if you're I an don't actor, want to you if you're an actor and 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 you're learning about acting, especially, pay really close attention. Uh, if you so see this, uh, I hope you paid really close attention to the fact that this role that Shafali played, both actresses, re this these roles required extremely talented and experienced actors to portray these roles, because these kinds of roles for lesser trained and lesser available actors would be really easy to indicate and show mm -hmm. grief and uh, try to be what you think they should be in the moment rather than just Being. be. Yeah. And there's a there's a, a stillness level, and this is the pinnacle of stillness. The two actors who are the pinnacle of stillness, and obviously Daniel Day Lewis is in that category too, but even more so, we talk about earphone all the time. Yeah. And uh, Shafali has that quality, that quality of being able to be on screen doing absolutely nothing but thinking mm -hmm. and you're mesmerized. And you know what she's thinking. Or you're yeah, like, and oh, you care. Yeah. yeah, you believe her, you care, you're mesmerized. She's, she's, 
a great actor is somebody who can just sit in a chair and put a camera on them for an hour and you don't want to stop watching them think. Yeah. And she's a great listener. When she was talking to Vidya in that scene in the, the kitchen when she accuses her of having, yeah. right, the jar drops, she says, you left the stove on. The shock and the hurt of why are you attacking me? Yeah. She was she doesn't really understand. Yep. And she was just trying to, and she obviously knew her dyna dynamic with this was a boss, but also somebody she thought was like, like kind family. of a friend yeah. and family because she's like helping out with my, my kid. Now yeah. you're lashing out at me for no reason. But yeah, I, I agree. She was just, she 100% of that just listening. Great listening. I, and it's one of the things you, you want as an actor. You you almost want it to be like, I don't know what that they're gonna say. That's I just, what that's what you want to make it look like. I just I don't wish know there was. I wish there had been more screen time with the two of them together. Yeah. Because watching them together is just watching two, two heavyweights actors, yeah. go at it. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I do I do agree because she didn't have a lot of, a ton of dialogue for somebody who's the, basically the lead in the film, right? Yeah. Um. I guess she would technically be supporting, right? Video, yeah, I think in this video would be the lead, and she would get the supporting. Supporting, and supporting. Yep. Um, but yeah, she doesn't have a ton of dialogue, and it's mostly just kind of reacting, reacting. to finding out her, her her daughter got hit by a car. Yeah. To to basically all the aftermath of that, and then everything else. She had probably more dialogue with the kid than she did with the video. I she feel. did, and it's one of the things I'd love to have known on set, if she even had this conversation. But I know that I would. If I was portraying a character like that, one of the things I'd wonder from the writer and the director, and would probably even question it on, on, on set, like when she's there toward the end and she's she's just cooked for them and she's about to take the boy to the beach, how, you know, it'd be like, so where am I right now? Am I really, do you want me to be vacant? Do you want me to, do you want the distraughtness? I know I can't give too much of that away to the grandma. Where do, Where would you like me to be? Because I can give you what I want to do. And the director may say, just show me what you've got with it right now. Mm -hmm. And then the director may say, you know, whatever little adjustments are going to be made to that. But that's, again, why you need somebody who, could, my guess is she just brought what she did. And they were like, okay, cut, print, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No question at yeah. that point. Uh, NVIDIA as well, I thought, did a phenomenal job. Yeah, she very, did. Very different performance. She was playing a, a person, a, a big big time journalist mm -hmm. uh, in India, somebody of, obviously I don't know, I mean I know of some journalists in India, but the more personalities I know are like big time journalists on CNN, Fox News, or right. somebody like, she's right. playing somebody like that, right. essentially. Uh, well, she was about true, so probably not on Fox. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, a little dig there. Um, but yeah, so I thought she did a, a really good job, and I thought she had some really good scenes uh, with, with everyone. Mm -hmm. But um, the fact that this whole story revolved around her, and something that I think a lot of people face of this internal guilt. It's essentially yes. the, the main thing, the film, and there's a bunch of things the films are about, but I think the main thing is internal guilt and what that does to a person of trying to hold something in that they probably could have gotten away with, but they're going to have to internalize this for the rest of their life. And can, right. you, can you do that? Right. And, and this was really the more complex role. This was a more difficult role in terms of the complexity, not in terms of the overall work. Because Shafali's character, like I said, requires you to be a, a substantial actor. Mm -hmm. The same thing for hers. And the reason her had, had the more complexity was because of all of the different nuances she had to deal with. She had to deal with the immediacy of the grief, but she also had to deal with covering up, anxiety attacks, who do I tell, who do I not tell, I'm covering it up, now I'm mad, now I'm, 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 uh, I'm you know, diverting my anger over here when I shouldn't be. She had a lot of stuff that she had to deal with that's really hard as an actor because so much of that is internalized with the character in the story. Mm -hmm. And the last thing you want to do as an actor is think about, okay, how can I get my internalization to be seen? <laughs> that's the last thing you want to do. <laughs> but that's the end goal. Mm -hmm. We need to see that. Mm -hmm. And the only way a good actor does that is Vidya did her homework and she had believable panic attacks. And uh, I really believe she... Yeah. And again, shout out to uh, just the, the way it was shot as, even though I knew it was coming, it still shocked me when she got hit by the car. Yeah, it was a really good uh, the stunt work, CGI work, all together. Whatever it was. Uh, whatever it was. I was still, like, I still <sighs> jumped when she got hit by the Both times. Both times. And I knew they were coming. <laughs> and then her beautiful choice, hard to look at, of her laying in the gutter, face down, half up, and doing yeah. Oh. Good job by the actor, by the way, and yeah. and VFX uh, and and uh, I, makeup. I want to give this shout out to she did right at the very beginning, and I I knew it was going to be her, 
So we're starting at the very beginning of the film, and Alia, the the actress who plays Alia, um, is uh, 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 Kashish Rizwan. She has that moment with him, and she starts to cry. And I went, "Wow, you're emotionally available. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful." Mm -hmm. uh, um, damn it, I think you're the one who's about to get hit by a car. And then, sure enough, <laughs> but she did ha have to be there, and I. I'm very excited about that young actor. I think yeah. she's really good. I think she did a great job with the little time she had. And makeup did a great job. Yeah, that shot of her on the ground was intense. Intense, and as was. It could look bad. Bad. And if you're not like... Terrible. Obviously, it's like Caesar strokes or just... just tw obviously, your brain damage. Yeah, so it's brain damage. Um, so it's easy to make that look like it's not real. Rip. Because, I mean... <laughs> You can't really prepare for that. <laughs> with, with makeup and with the actor mm -hmm. not doing it right. And that worked, as did makeup, did a great job of showing us the progression from where she was laying in the street after the immediacy of the hit. But then when you see her afterwards, she's pretty much unrecognizable because of the, the swelling that would happen in the, in the head. Mm -hmm. And I thought makeup did a great job. Yeah, so, really good job. Yeah, um, by by all involved, um, the the overall writing of this I thought was, was really really nice. Um, for not only dialogue but story, because like I said, it would, I think the main story that I would take away is from the internal guilt that you have to deal with and how that um, personifies itself, I guess, mm. uh, outward with lashing out or anxiety attacks or whatever. Sure. But then also, there's so many other things like the fact that she, you know she was trying this story, and then there's so many other stories that other people were trying to cover up. Yeah, they didn't even know it was her, but they were covering up their own problem with this yes. exact same event that happened from Correct. the boyfriend Correct. to the police officer to this other kid. Like, there's so much going on here and all the corruption that, that corruption. ensues, right? And that was the other story. So you do have the main story, which is of the guilt and yeah. the stuff, right? But what I think, and it's a, it's a wink and it's a tip of the cap to the director and the writers and the whole team because... That's the primary thing, and everybody could see that and walk away and not know what the film, to me, is really about. Mm. I think what the film is really about, and it's why we saw the title when we did. <laughs> that was, it was pretty early uh, towards the end. Like, it, it was, was almost like, at the end of the film, and yeah. that's on purpose. I'm sure it is. I'd love to talk to any of them about it, because what she gets stuck in is this celebration moment of the win of this political guy, who, if you remember, yep. he's the one... Who's Pays responsible the money, yep. for the paying of the money to the cop because yep. he doesn't want anything bad going on in his jurisdiction so he can win his election. Yep. And what this really points to when you take it from that pinnacle of power with the politician and then the cops and then a media person all the way down to the sweet little villager woman who's the servant. Mm -hmm. It's about the fact that, and I, I, there's a reason it's called what it's called and it's the reason that she got stuck in that moment of that celebration. And that's what I said in my paragraph and why I phrase it the way I did of that the powerful crush the non-powerful mm -hmm. and get away with it. And the non-powerful have a choice to try and lash out or remain good people. Mm. And that's why I loved the way they filmed the final shot because I had no idea. I thought she did it. Yeah. I thought she let him die. Yeah, I didn't. I was obviously between the two. I was like. One, I just, I was like, Shh, even though I get it, like as a mom, you're, even right. though I, also as a mom, would you do that to another kid that you've basically also raised as right. well? Right. And so I was like, I was like, I don't know if this actually happened, I, 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 but also they made it think like it did. They did, and they did a beautiful job because if you notice in the, the the shot, so she's out there on that long extension into the water, and you see the boat floating. When we come back to her after the traffic stop, when Vidya's trying to get to the beach. That boat is now on the sand, which means the tide's gone out. Mm -hmm. And she's sitting there still. And you're thinking, holy crap. And then they use that boat for the reveal beautifully with just his yeah. hand coming up like that. And nothing was said. Didn't yeah. It? And what it what it can be, it reminds me of, a lot of people take this out of context. You'll hear as a justification for revenge, an eye for an eye. And that was, that's, I'm going to pontificate a little bit, but here from my pastoral ministry years. <laughs> that text was never used to justify revenge. That text was specifically given to encourage me moderation because what would happen would be it's a, it should be an eye for an eye not you get to take a life for an eye because that's what was happening at that time when that scripture was given is like someone lost an eye okay well we're gonna go kill him and his family and it was 
temper that back. That is not justice. You're not looking for justice that way. And that's what I felt this was about. It was like the objective isn't an eye for an eye, which goes back to what I said about, yeah. you know, it's a hard decision to choose good when you've been crushed unjustly. Mm -hmm. And that's really a redemptive thread that happens in the film, which is, I think that's what's reason to celebrate. That's reason to Jalsa is the fact that this woman who has every reason to become embittered and just lash out and say, I'm done. Even even her squatting and doing the sweeping mm -hmm. of this woman who, with all of her power and everything else, has been able to cover up the murder of my, almost murder, murder. of my child. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I like the, uh, the moment at the end where um, there was nothing said. Uh, and it was a directorial choice used many times in the film to silence the dialogue or just mm -hmm. silence the film of like when she was yelling um, at her son and you couldn't hear what she was but you can kind of assume what she was saying it's almost more powerful sometimes to not know you just know she's saying something she probably Awful. should never say to her son that she was going to regret you yeah. saw it on his face yeah and so yeah. I thought it was a nice directorial choice and he did it many times yeah. he also did it um, I think when she was stuck as well uh, as well which is also good on uh, Vidya she basically that's not an easy thing to do because she was in the car for a good couple minutes. That, that, so, yeah. And so the director basically said, I right, try to get out. Try to get out. Try to get out. Tell him you need to get out. You need to go see your son because she, she might be murdering your son the way you tr basically almost murdered her kid. And so she, the camera's probably just on her. I was like, okay, do it. Mm -hmm. That's difficult. Very difficult. <laughs> great, <laughs> because, a great choice. Because as an actor, one, she has to do it believably, and she has to live in the moment, but she also she has to know, I have to stay in this framework as well. Exactly. So I know I actually can't get out, even right. though my character actually wants to get and out. And you have to justify the fact that I can't get out. Mm -hmm. So what do you do with that if what's happening around you literally is like, okay, I know I can just open up this door and get out, but I have to make it look like I can't. Yep. That's, that's hard. It's acting. It's acting. <laughs> uh, and that's what separates the good ones from the bad ones. Exactly. Uh, and then also towards the uh, at the end when she was walking along the beach as well, and assuming that she lost her son and, and walking and then just sitting down next to yeah. Shafali, uh, I thought she did a, a marvelous job. I did too. And one of the things, I mean, I don't know if you noticed this, but I wanted to say, I put it in my notes, I am so happy to see that the censor board's been able to get their smoking is injurious to your health warnings on the OTT platforms. I am so happy that's happened. <laughs> Man, it's... It was so long I didn't get to see it and thought it would always stay that way, but boy, am I happy. <laughs> you know it'll stop people. <laughs> Anyways, uh, overall, I think it's a really worthwhile film to, to see. I think it's an entertaining film, and you'll see some good acting uh, as well uh, from the film. Yeah. Um, and I thought, I thought the score behind it as well, it was it was really subtle at times, uh, and then it also brought the emotion of, of certain moments at other times. Uh, and so I thought uh, the composer... Um, uh, Gaurav uh, Chatterjee. And the cinematographer, sorry, as well, we didn't shout him about it. I thought the yeah, Saurabh Goswami. I thought the cinematography in the film was excellent. Yeah, good choice. I think it was lens choices that you guys used. It may have been post-production, but I think it was lenses that they chose for the discordant yeah. sense of panic attack that yeah. she got into. They did several things. They did those, I forgot what it's called technically, but when you do the... The, 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 the background and foreground separate and the yeah. foreground stays and the background leaves mm -hmm. but the foreground looks like it's moving with the blur around the edges yeah. and they did stuff like that especially the blur around the edges to enhance that sense of you being in her panic attacks mm -hmm. I thought those were well yeah. done well, let us know what you thought about this film down in the comments below and what should be the next Shafali Shah and Vidya film that we should I know Vidya has um, No One Killed Jessica that we haven't seen a lot of people talk about that one um, and then Shafali, uh, she just, I'm sure she has a ton that we have. I, I just, I'm looking forward to Dilly when's Dilly Crime 2 Dilly coming. Dilly Crime season two. Yeah. Um, you know, the first thing we saw her, I think it was Satya. Man, yeah. um, probably so. Uh, and video was, uh, Kahani. Was it Kahani? I or? think so. Oh no, Shafali. Did we see Juice before or after? Oh. Uh, Satya. I can't remember. I can't remember, but that might be before it I know as we well. jumped up and down. Yeah. Uh, with her in that film. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she does have a new series out.
that uh yeah i've heard about it human 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 um anyways if you've seen that please let us know how it is if not what should be the next film that we should watch down below